Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I am Alex and uh, we are at uh, Military Antique Extravaganza Show, Max Show 2019. Here is Jeffrey, collector of NSKK items. Uh, a very big collection you have here, uh, daggers, uh, aircrafts, yeah. uh, some of badges and other items. Could you explain yeah. about your collection? And I yeah. have few questions. Hello, Alex. Thank you for inviting me today. Uh, yeah, I'd like to talk to you about my uh, collection. Uh, I like NSKK because I was involved with transportation uh, during my working career. I'm retired now, but uh, so I kind of enjoyed uh, doing this. And as I got involved with the hobby, you know, when you first join the hobby, you want to do everything, right? You want to collect everything, but you can't do that. So I started to focus in on NSKK and uh, several of the daggers uh, you might like to look at. So what I got here, uh, I find these, uh, the paper tags. You still talk? The paper tags are, after 70 years to me, is amazing that they're still on the, uh, still on the grip. So we'll go ahead and bring one out. Now I leave the bags on there because it's so delicate, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. The paper, you're... some of them are ready to fall off. They're being held on with three paper molecules. So <laughs> I put the plastic bag around for protection. And you can see they're all numbered. And what I've noticed that uh, collecting these, there's six numbers, three digits forward, three digits aft with a, with a dot in the middle. So I, I collected the numbers. I got all the numbers, and I have the number spread right here. You can see the number spread. Mm -hmm. So I think it's kind of interesting, and I'm going to try and do some more research, and I want to see what these numbers actually mean. And some, I've got some that are fairly close. So they're all unissued, what they call tag daggers, and the story is, as the Americans uh, were going across Germany, they would go into the factories and they would find these, and they were unissued, and they would just grab them and put them in their duffel bag and then go home. So when they went home, they probably told their kids, don't play with that, it's dangerous. Because how in the world would a paper tag stay on after all that time? It went into the closet after 70 years, you know. So I really found these fascinating, and that's why, primarily why I collect them, because they're very rare, of course. Yeah. And um, it's quite rare and uh, yeah. quite expensive, because when I, find, uh, when I found uh, some of SA daggers with a tag, it cost yeah. maybe four times more than uh, regular. Video. Exactly, yeah. So, well, I enjoy collecting them, and uh, I like showing them. That's why I bring them to the show. Why have them if you can't show them, you know? And um, when you bought your first uh, NSKK dagger? I've only been collecting for a little over two years. Oh, over two only years? A little over two years, yeah. And all that time? Uh, One at a time. Mm -hmm. And first time you were showing it here? Uh, the, no, I, well, I ha last, the last show I was at was the one in, uh, what was it, June? I was at that show. This is the second time I've shown them. Oh, really? These are these are some uh, mint items. These are the ones that are not for sale. I just keep these. I've been told this is very important. This was the VIP transportation corps. When they moved the high leaders around, these were the guys that uh, drove them around. They had that collar tab. That's pretty interesting. And I like this right here. This is one of my favorites. You see the paddles? You see these paddles? Now this is what they used. The NSK would use this to, to uh, hail the car. Yeah, for to stop somebody. For to stop somebody, and this is the paddle that they would use. And these are very rare, and I've been very fortunate. I acquired this one from uh, Walter Kanzler. Shout out to Mr. Kanzler. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very fortunate to find another one at the show. Yeah. And how much are they, what is the mate price? Well, you know, it was a lot of talking and a hem hon, but uh, I got them for, you know, I think I got this one for 700 and that was 850. Walter wouldn't take any less. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know how Walter is. <laughs> and a couple of chained uh, Yeah, I have some chained uh, chained NSKKs and I have these on offer, but uh, yeah, I really like these. These are quite nice. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. So I hope to sell these. I want, I'm looking at a Marine in SKK. Oh, I had one. Did you? Yes. Okay, uh, okay. I found it uh, in Europe and uh, now we could have talked. We could have talked. <laughs> now this right here, yeah, this is my my favorite display. Uh, the two Kepis, uh, enlisted officer and they're mint. And that's the helmet, the first pattern eagle. That's the second pattern eagle. That's mint as well. Another chained NSKK. That's I think that's a double icorn. Uh, I think so. And that's the uh, overseas cap. And of course, the toilet paper there again from Mr. Kanzler. <laughs> so I really like this. And the, what's nice about this display is I don't have to take anything out. I can just carry it like that. Yeah. yeah. But it's uh, very interesting to way to display uh, eagle un under the. You like that? You like that? Yes. Yeah, I, I like decided it. to put it there. Yeah, because you can see the both of them. Both types. So <laughs> right, so right. Yeah, the first model, second model. Yeah. So let's talk about these for a moment. You know, whenever you look at a political high leader, the first thing you want to do is put it on the reverse. You want to see the reverse for the arrow or the RZM tag. So what I did was, instead of having to handle it, you could just look at that, right? So you can see the, you can see the arrow right there and you can see the RZM tag. And yeah. this way you don't have to handle them and you can look at both sides. Yes, yeah, so this is a very good idea. I yeah. have a, a, at home, I have a glass with uh, sun protective. Here's, here's the problem with the glass. I did that too. When I squeezed the glass, it broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, that's the glass. a problem. So I got the plexiglass. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to handle it and it's easily visible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you have my other ones here. Miniatures. Now this, yeah, the minis, uh, I'm letting these go. I've sold several here. I have some extras in my collection. You saw those minis over there. Those are the ones I'm keeping forever. Mm -hmm. But these are ones I'll be letting go. Something interesting about this, um, this dagger, you see it's named. That didn't happen too much. And I did some research on him. There was a guy that did some research. And uh, I've got some paperwork on him. I really, I like this one. This is a uh, very period. And uh, yeah, this is really cool. I like the ones that have the names on them, you know. Yeah, it's very uh, historical when you exactly. Have the name, yeah. I've been told that I've been told by uh, Mr. Whitman this is a very nice, uh, nice SS dagger. There. This this move. Let's let's take a look at it for a moment. I want to see this. Let's watch this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. Yeah, that's good. Huh? Now one, this two, is one, the, one, is that say, yeah, they don't know who that is. Is that the 11, what does that say, 11, uh, what is that, I can't read it. Yes, 12, 11 and uh, 39. Yeah. yeah, I was told by Mr. Whitman, they're not quite sure who that manufacturer is. So this makes it kind of unique. I like that. And it's a beautiful blade. Okay. Beautiful blade. Yeah. There is a scabbard. And Scabbard's Origin. period, Scabbard's, and this is period, it's got the RZM and the SS, you know, you can see it right there, it's kind of faint, mm -hmm. yeah, that's SS. period, yeah, I got that from Houston Coates, by the way, uh, shout out to Mr. Coates. Very important for um, SS hangers, uh, this type is black, black screw, because exactly. sometimes, sometimes uh, yeah, 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 black yeah. leather you can see with... Uh, brown uh, yeah, yeah. screw and it is uh, NSKK. NSDAP. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah now, that's where are I you see. familiar with that? Isn't Ooh. that cool? This right here? Oh, this has got a great story. This is a storefront display for a Kepi. Yeah. If you're walking down the street in Berlin, you see this, you go, oh, that's where I buy my Kepi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's exactly what it it's is. A, it's like a Leeds shop. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, what's really unique about this, let me, let me show you what's cool about this. Watch this. Now you'll see, it's, it's not a squashed, it's flat. And that's a leather strap. And I've been told that this is a large RZM, extremely rare. You don't see this much at all. Look how big it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they think this is like pre-1933. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. It's very, very unique. I really love that. It's really cool. So, Alex, what do you think One about second. my collection? You like my collection? You have a very good collection and a very good display because it's uh, maybe more important uh, to display correctly yeah. uh, than buy some, some items. Yeah, and a yeah. couple of um, aircrafts 
here. Okay, so yeah, the ME262, I just like the air. I, uh, my hobby is I build scale plastic model airplanes. So I, I, enjoy, I enjoy this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So this airplane used to look like that airplane and I used something called bare metal foil. It's like gold leaf. You cut it, little strips, and then you burnish it on with a plastic burnishing tool. It took me eight weeks to do that. Mm -hmm. I had the, everything you, was- you, you did it? I did it myself, oh, yes. Wow. I t it was all disassembled. It took me eight weeks, you know, listening to tutorials on YouTube, listening to watching TV. <laughs> and I would burnish this thing in, burnish it in. And, and it turned out really nice. You like my pink bombs? See, the bombs are pink. <laughs> I painted the bombs pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all about peace and love. You know. And uh, this one, Stuka is... That's the JU-87 Stuka. Yeah, the dive bomber that uh, you've, you know, you've heard about in uh, the early part of the war. I also painted that bomb pink. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you notice the signatures on the airplane? Okay, you have to see the signatures on the airplane. Let me show it to you. Look at this side. Get a close up. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Whitman, mm -hmm. excuse me, General Whitman and Lieutenant Colonel Johnson, Obergruppenführer Walter Kanzler. You see that? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course, Helmut Weitzel had to be different. He signed the wing. He didn't sign? He signed the wing. Uh, ah, on the wing. Yeah, he had to be different. You know Helmut. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Helmut Weitzel. Yes. And here is uh, Joe Polsonelli and uh, Walter Dungeon and Houston Coates. All famous uh, All famous dealers. people in the dealers. They started yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very interesting aircraft with pink bumps. <laughs> You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, some of miniatures here uh, under the aircraft. I see... Yeah. I see dedicated... Yes, they have dedications on them. And of course the unissued tags. Mm -hmm. it, the best part for me is when they come together with the tags. That really makes it, you know. Yeah. I like miniatures. It's... Uh, well, let me show you my... Uh, let me show you... This has got the metal tag. Very rare. This has got the paper tag, even rarer. These are my, these are my favorites, Alex. Mm -hmm. I love these minis, yeah. 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 And this is the uh, smallest size of... Uh, yes, yes. They had got like a three quarter and half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's very interesting. And I have one NSKK dagger that I would like to show you. Okay, yes, please. Here is an SKK M36 dagger. I found it here on the Max show. And uh, what do you think about condition? Okay, so... With the NSKK chain, what you want to look, I tell you what, the scabbard is beautiful. The ball has not been dropped. <clears throat> proper, looks like proper hardware. Nice center ramp. Look at that, it's beautiful. Where'd you get this? <laughs> okay, I know so, places. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess you do. I, I, I bought it here. Uh... <laughs> and on the chain, now you're going to have the NSK, NSKK rune, the sun wheel, two sun wheels. Some of these, all right, this is the four and the five, yeah. Four flats, five flats, and the oak leaves up here. And what you want to do, all right, what they'll tell you. Here's the maker's mark, the NSKK mark. You want to see that. Now, a lot of times it'll be here or it'll be here. Mm -hmm. You never really know. Yeah, on the short side. And sometimes there's another small little mark right here. Yes, but uh, there is. There's none here. That's okay. Sometimes it's up here and that's okay. And look at the year, it's uh, 1938, uh, this is uh, early, early Double one. marked and I, icon. And I think, and I think um, you, got a nice, you got a nice one here, <laughs> you got a nice one here. And uh, can I buy it from you? Uh, <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, all right. I just found it. I this is like. really nice, double, double marked, yeah. Yes, and um, I think it's uh, fresh uh, stamps was uh, in uh, that year because uh, very detailed. It looks, Eagles, it uh, looks beautiful. Yeah. It looks beautiful. This is one of the best ones I've seen, really. Yeah, thank you. This is really, really nice, especially it, it especially was, the it, double. It, yes, it, it was expensive, but I think... It's I think, uh, well, look at the patina in the grip. I love the patina in the grip. You can see it's got oils on it. That's what you want, in my opinion. That shows where. You know, I've seen some grips where you can see the oil from the fingers. Really, it's amazing. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All right.
Jeffrey, thank you for your explain and thank you for sharing with us your sure, collection. Sure. sure. Alex, I, I, I love your uh, war story videos. Everybody keep your eye out for him. It's, this guy's really got some nice videos, great tutorials, and we really appreciate it, Alex. Thank you. Thank you, my thank friend. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bye. collectors. Thank you. And bye. <laughs>